Good morning, Ashling. Um, welcome in the Maastricht Student Express. First of all, I would like to ask you um, what program you're studying and uh, how you like it so far. Yeah, so currently I'm doing the Masters in Media Studies, Digital Cultures and FASOS. Um, I really like it so far. And did you also do your bachelor's here? or? No, I did my bachelor's in Ireland. Oh, okay. So uh, it's your very first year here? Yeah, coming up to a year. <laughs> How do you like it so far? <laughs> um, I love it here. It's really nice. It was like super welcoming. There was no problems like getting started. Everybody, it's a very international environment. Nobody else knows anybody. So coming in, there's, it's not threatening at all. Um, and you're welcomed by the city. Everybody speaks English. And how do you like the, the, the climate? And with climate, I mean like the, the general environment of Maastricht? Yeah, it's great. It's like uh, you can find your way around super easy. We're going to get to know it really well, really quickly. Um, there's a lot of students always willing to do something to hang out. I mean, it doesn't have the craziest nightlife, but that's OK. I don't mind that at this stage of my life. Um, there's so many little cute cafes and bars, and there's just always something to do. Do you have a favorite spot in Maastricht? Mm, I have a few. I think I love Bandidos in Fasos, which is the cafe there. I love getting a coffee there. Um, Sounds good. What else? Cafe Brasserie is like the best bar, I think. Um, do you feel like, in general, the university is easily accessible, like whether you can find phone numbers or email addresses uh, easily? Yeah, I would say yeah. On the uh, university website, I think all the uh, information is there. Um, and then when you bring and um, when you email, people do get back to you. There might be some delays. Um, I find with emails and stuff, but like they do eventually get back to you. Do yeah. you think that the university itself provides some um, perhaps entrances into you know life after graduating? Um, I definitely made use of the Career Services Center. Mm -hmm. um, so I did a workshop that they offer, which is Discover Your Competencies, um, which I find quite helpful because it just helps you contextualize like what transferable skills you actually have from your course. Right. Um, and they also offer quick um, information chats. So like you can run your CV through them, or you can do a drop, go to their drop-in center um, on certain days of the week. Um, and ask them any questions you have regarding your career. Do you recommend that other students Definitely, also use yeah. it? For any student, do you have perhaps any tips for any aspiring students that are wishing to come to Master of University, whether it's for their masters or for their um, bachelor? I would definitely say be open-minded when you come here. Um, and yeah, push yourself to meet new people because it's important. Right, Ashling, right now we're standing outside of the Bonafante Museum. Mm -hmm. There's lots of uh, museums in, in Maastricht. Can you perhaps tell me a bit about what you know about this one? I know that they do exhibitions that they change regularly right. um, and that students always want to go. I know that they, it's affordable to go inside. That's and very important as a student, I think. Yes, I think so too. Um, they also, I know that there's a museum night every year in Maastricht that um, most museums are open um, free of charge and they allow everybody in and they do events, music, right. Right. and it's a fun right. time for everybody. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for your uh, time. I hope to see you around in Maastricht uh, somewhere in the yeah. beautiful spots that you mentioned. And um, until then, enjoy the sun, I think. Thank you very much. Right. Cheers.